Hey guys, we're here playing an each butcher shop here, and this is uh, this is close to being a good hand, but I think we're gonna throw it back. This is much better, indeed. We have the snare right away, the sand sand, lots of good stuff, and still have our early money. But against Haley, gonna be. Not sure what exactly to expect from Haley yet. It'll be a stealth build. I've seen them with Pawn Shop. I've seen some with Comet, a lot of events, but Comet costs a lot of money to install. Just go right for the R&D. Okay. Oh no, he gets the Astro right away. Rough. Uh, let's draw mid seasons and crush him. Go us to three cards. That's not what we want to do. I mean, it's <sighs> Can we get a card. Not in mid-seasons. Oh well. It's gonna get away with it this time. Maybe we can lure him into the snare. If he doesn't, we'll just score this the Astro or the Sand Sand. We're only playing one Sand Sand, but I think you need to have at least one. In this case, we can't even be sure we can score because of the whole potential clot. Oh, now we get a mid-seasons. And seven. Does he play Clot? Okay, we're gonna get our Astro then. No problem, we play by the rules when we try to. <laughs> Don't always succeed, but for the most part, pretty good about that stuff. Now he probably wants to come trash this, but maybe he doesn't. If he thinks he can, like, maybe Claude's in his hand. Oh, he could have just asked me for something random and then installed Claude from hand if that was the case. More likely he's just sp spending money on stealth stuff and not running Claude. Nerve agent. Hilarious. <laughs> Please hit the snare on like your last action, sir. Yeah, he really suspects nothing right now until he he sees this 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 access here. Oh, <laughs> mid season the scorch. He sees it. Is he gonna run last action even after that? Hint. Yeah, no, he doesn't. Smart play. Go down the daily business show. Sweeps is exactly what we want to see there. And probably just get a dollar so we can afford a regular business show. This is also one of, it dies a lot. And if you have to res it, you end up paying two for one trigger and then they pay four, which is not horrible, but it's also not the best deal. Be a little better off like just playing a marked accounts in terms of money differential, but the draw can be pretty important sometimes. So 
if the runner's poor, it's a good time to res it. I don't know if you want to res it right away. Here. Here it's close because we want to have money for our snare. And if we can top deck our third Astra somehow, that would be pretty great. Even even the B was good now for the Sand Sand. So what this nerve agent means is we can't safely hold a breaking news at the right moment. We're going to have to either throw it down and kill it with a Sand Sand. Or put it in a blank remote by itself, hope it doesn't get checked. Or just score it for a point and not actually use it for a kill. Astrolabe, nice. Makes us here a matchup a little tougher when they're drawing cards all the time, so we're going to try to not give away too many more cards. Tough call on Jackson or Pad here. Both are pretty good, but I think the Pad is a little better. Nice. Uh, let's. I'm going to risk drawing. Okay, cool. I don't do a big sweeps. So now he wants to trash this, certainly, but I don't know if he can afford to open the money differential too much. We'll see if he plays any money cards from hand. He probably has something with six cards in hand that he can make money with. Like Dirty Laundry is pretty good here. Refractor. He's going to rig right up. And we don't care because our ice is terrible. And there's only 12 of it, so... Yeah, he's gonna come for the sand sand. Easy res here if he click clicks. Then I'm happy with him spending that and the five dollars. It's a big spend for him. And this makes our pad pretty safe. Ooh, Raven or pad. You know, I think that we just want a lot of money this game. Uh, let's have him get another card. Let's have him get another card. And fire off the hedge. I really like playing three pads because they're just an all around good card when the runners want to spend their money. If he's not running Clot, then unless he has Plascrete or Utopia, we're probably going to be able to kill him. He's drawing even more after having seven guards at the start of his turn. Looking for a beach party. No inside man. Ooh. Oh yeah, Katie Jones, sure. Do you have a hardware in there too that costs two or less? Does it's replicator time? Okay, so he's starting to tick. Inside man's gonna give him good value. He should probably be able to use this every turn. Uh, let's get the Jackson here and start drawing some more cards. The Enigma is actually not that bad, considering. We kind of looking for a genesis before he gets set up, but I th think it's worth playing another ice on R and D. Aside from playing like RDIs with this inside man, I assume this is late game. It's just like three RDIs, 
and then stealth credits into the R&D. Lockpick, okay. Makes the, ref the refractor even better right now. Yeah, this is always influenced. That's why he's not playing Clot, I imagine. Oh, well, he only... No more copies of Silencer. Okay. Maybe he has two in hand right now. Uh, traffic or Beal? I think it's going to be the traffic. Yeah, let's get an MP at the door. This is no good. And I'll put the other jacks on just for a draw. Okay, the ending was probably bad. One our kill pieces. What the Gutenberg? He's presumably gonna have. Now let's get the snare. He might check the HQ at some point. We could put discard it and shuffle it back in the deck. It's a tough call. I'm not really sure where he's gonna run next. we end up scoring Zenny Phoenix turn, we'll just throw it out anyway, probably. Yeah, his deck does seem a little dirtily. I mean, he's let this go uncontested, three pads, no daily business show. That just puts us further and further ahead with every turn. Checking the Jackson. Guess we could have put the snare there. Oh well. Probably check in case it's breaking news, but if it is, he's screwed either way. Clicks up Katie, sure. All right, we'll see what this show brings us. If we get... Breaking news, you might install it. Uh, I don't know. Okay, the restructure is probably better now because the Astrolabe. Let's just score this out and I'll discard this snare. Or do I just have enough money this game? Could we'll discard the traffic if we think he's not going to be able to defend. Let's try the traffic. No, we have enough money with it with the restructure, I think. We're getting three a turn. He can't really stop that in the near future. Mm. Can try installing this and see if he'll run over it. <clears throat> okay, perfect. He's coming now.
but he misses the snare. <laughs> oh well. All he sees is fiery, fiery explosions. Looks up that Katie, it's getting juicy. All the stealth hardware. <laughs> you don't actually need another Scorch right now. I'm gonna bottom that. I can't imagine him playing like Utopianus or something right now. All right, he's not gonna go for the snare otherwise. Are we gonna put the breaking news up by itself? I think we kind of want to risk it because we'll just win outright if we get it and maybe this will distract him I might check both too let me get mint season sim and scorch him twice and that should do it I mean barring like a, a late plascrete coming out Yeah, we definitely had enough money. We don't need to keep that restructure. It's better to have a chance at him hitting the snare and then not checking this because he's busy recovering. Yes, we have drawn his attention to this pop-up window. That's not how you want to do this. You don't want to check it on fourth action. Yeah, that's just the worst way to do it. Kaboom. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> yeah. That's what that's what we said. Boom. Well, all that set up, and fourth click snare run kills him. We had him anyway with the breaking news, but... <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys.